So we've all heard about the trending clean girl aesthetic, but if you haven't, let me give you a quick rundown. It's essentially how it sounds. It's often tied to a youthful, fresh-faced look, minimal makeup, slicked back hair, gold jewelry, and a really carefree, effortless, and summery vibe. The outfits are super easy to recreate and the pieces can be used interchangeably so you've got a really versatile and cost-effective wardrobe. Celebrities like Hailey Bieber, Bella Hadid, and Kendall Jenner have really been at the forefront of this trend as it's also quite a model of duty type of look. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Or if you're new here, hello, my name is Katrina. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be taking a look at the trending clean girl aesthetic. So it's been around for a while now, I feel like it's been adopted by the masses, the retailers are getting on board, and it's kind of evolved over time now that in here in Australia we've gone from summer to winter knowing about it, so I feel like it really has evolved and I'm finally ready to stand here before you guys and film a video on it. <laughs> now I've taken to Pinterest for all of my inspo and to make any of these outfits work you're going to need the following. A button up shirt an oversized blazer, some baggy denim jeans, a white tee or tank top, a knit sweater, a maxi or midi skirt, a matching activewear set, and some trousers. For shoes, you can pretty much get away with white sneakers for all of them, but if you really want to spice it up, grab some black loafers and some black sandals. Oh, and don't forget gold jewelry. So we're going to take a look at five different outfits. Not sure why I'm showing you 10 on my hands. Five different outfits with these pieces. And first one up is super easy to recreate, so let's get into it. So we've got a white tank, mine's from Charcoal Clothing, and then some creamy pants, which I didn't exactly have, so I've just popped on these tan ones from Tiger Mist, and then a blue and white striped button up over the top. Mine is super creased because it's been in the wash and I haven't washed it yet, so I apologize. And then I've just paired the outfit with these platform sandals I got from Cotton On, as well as my Prada bag. And then we've got just some gold jewelry on, just some rings from La Visa, bangle from Majuri, earrings, I literally got 10 years ago, I have no idea where they're from. Next, we're recreating an outfit from Matilda Jerf, or Jerf, I don't know how to say her name, so I apologize. If you don't know who she is, she's a Swedish influencer, and she has taken the world by storm with her clean girl outfits. And as of 2019, she is also the owner of fashion label Jerf, Jerf Avenue. And that has also taken the world by storm. I feel like I'm seeing videos and hauls all over my TikTok about Jeff Avenue. I still am yet to buy something. I really need to do that. So for Matilda's outfit, we've got the white tank again, and then we've got this gray oversized blazer. Mine's from ASOS. And then I realized that I don't actually have any black trousers. I have black jeans, but I just feel like it's not the same vibe. So I decided to just wear the matching pants with the blazer so that it still has a really like put together look. And then she's got white sneakers on, so I'm wearing my Nike Air Force Ones. And then she's also got the gold jewelry, which is just all the same from the last outfit. The sunglasses are from Coach. I feel like they're a really similar shape to what she was wearing. And then I don't have the specific Louis Vuitton bag that she has. I don't think many of us have it, but I thought I, I've only got like one other brown bag, which is a Louis Vuitton. So I thought I'll just wear mine and it kind of brings in those brown tones and kind of grounds the outfit a bit more. So that is the outfit. Okay, third outfit is a Kendall Jenner inspired outfit and it's super easy to recreate. So let's do it. Okay, so for this outfit, we have got a black activewear set. They're actually not a matching set. The tights are from Elite 11. I love the little crossover V-waist situation. And then the crop is from Stax. The sweater tied around my shoulders is from Charcoal Clothing. And then I've just got my Prada bag and I've taken off a bit of the jewelry, but I've left the earrings on because she's super bare. Kendall is just always so minimalistic. So I've just kept the earrings in and that's it. The sunglasses are from Key, and then we can't actually see her shoes in the picture, so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. So it depends on what vibe you're going for. What is your adventure? Are you going Pilates yoga? Is that your route? If so, you can get away with just some sandals. So I've popped on the ones from Cotton On. Or if you're opting for, I just went on a hot girl walk and I'm gonna go get myself a coffee before I go home, that one would be sneakers. And I'd also add some crew socks just bunched up a little so that you can't actually see any 
leg in between your sneakers and your tights. I actually just realized that all of these outfits include sunglasses. So that's another thing that you gotta make sure you have. A pair of black sunglasses. I've used a couple different styles, but I feel like they're all kind of interchangeable. You can just get away with wearing one pair for all of the outfits. On to the fourth outfit. I have been so excited for this one because I actually bought this skirt yesterday and I've been dying to style it. white cropped tee. I think hers was a little longer and she tied it into a knot, but mine's cropped so can't really do that. And then we've got this gorgeous black satin maxi skirt. It's from Sundays to Label. It definitely needs to be seamed. I apologize if you can see that on camera. Hopefully it's just blurring it out. But it is absolutely beautiful. I love the silhouette of it. I don't know if you can see. I want to try and like get as far back as possible so you can see like kind of like flicks out at the bottom. Can you see? I think I think you can see. I'm like kind of beveling a bit, but here we are. <laughs> so I'm absolutely obsessed with this skirt and I'm literally gonna wear it like every day for the rest of my life now. I feel like the Baha maxi skirt went super viral, which was a Sunday skirt. But guys, this is the Melanie skirt and this is where it's at. If you want a maxi skirt, go with this. I feel like this is a lot more versatile than the Baha one because I feel like that's like more of a summery, low rise. You can wear it high rise, but it's more of like a low rise, um, really fitted sort of skirt, whereas I feel like this has a little bit of movement in it. And it's just like a little more casual, but at the same time you can totally dress it up with some heels, some sparkles, you know the gist. Back to this outfit, I've just popped my Black Prada bag, my Nike Air Forces, and my Coach Sunnies again, as well as the gold jewelry. And last but not least, our fifth outfit. Okay, so for the final outfit, we have got the white tank again, and then we've got the denim jeans from Princess Polly. They're super baggy. To be honest, trigger warning for weight loss. I've lost weight since I actually bought these, and so now they're like extra baggy. You can see how much like I can, like look at that. They're, they're just a little bit too big now. I really need to get some new ones. We're working with what we've got today. And then I've just got this white oversized button up shirt. It's actually my boyfriend's. So if you are looking for a really good oversized fit, definitely check the wardrobes of any males in your life, whether it's your dad, your brother, your boyfriend, your uncle, I don't know. They're like way longer than female shirts as well. And so it's just, you know, you just get a lot more material. And then I've just got my Air Forces on again. I've got my black powder bag, my gold jewelry. It doesn't change. And then my sunglasses are from Key. So that is it. That is the five clean girl outfits to get you on your way. Hopefully you're feeling inspired to create more of a minimalist wardrobe. It's better for the planet. You feel way less overwhelmed when you're trying to put an outfit together because you know that every piece kind of just goes with each other anyway. Plus the clean girl aesthetic is a very nice, fresh, polished look. It's just a really nice way to present yourself. It also totally makes you look like you have your life together. Like even if you don't and you're secretly screaming on the inside, at least you look cute, right? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you're following me on TikTok and on Instagram as well for some more fashion and beauty content and of course also acting content because surprise, I'm an actor. <laughs> if you've got any video suggestions, be sure to pop them down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!